people would speak of the miraculous performance of Koali for many nights to come. <laughs> oh, that's a giggity if I've ever heard one. All right, it is once again time to fill our well-being with lust, and there's just no better way of doing that than starting off the day observing the tentacle of lust. And is it just me, or have they actually grown more houses around the statue? I don't remember there being as many houses around here, so it does seem that my fledglings, more and more, they gravitate towards the tentacle of lust. And what better way to show my people that I care about them than the Festival of Lust? Inspire a disciple to organize the Festival of Lust. The selected disciples will perform a miracle that will improve cunning and charisma, but other things might happen too. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of people getting jiggy with it already. Koali's about to bring the festival to all these people and they know it. Just, just go ahead and just grind away, hip thrust all you need. Koali, bring the lovin'. Everybody's coming over here, check this out. This is what the religion's all about, boys. This right here is what everything it entails. So, let's see. Do we get a special, or at least a story? Yes, we do. Everybody's uh, leaving. They're all, um, no, actually, they're not. Look at that. Look at this big congregation over here. Kuali was possessed by the lustful spirit of the Great One and left everybody impressed by his vigor and soothing touch. I thought you were a female. That's what I get for assuming people's genders in this game. People would speak of the miraculous performance of Kuali for many nights to come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a giggity if I've ever heard one. Adds ecstasy permanently, adds ecstatic performance to the disciples perform miracles. So, oh, so you do get a miracle still. Perfect. Ecstatic performance. Evade chance, charisma, cunning, health, and might. Mwah. Perfect. Perfect. Teach this passive. So we have Ancestor's Favor, so you didn't give up your miracle laughter. I'm happy about that. Uh, dead conquers life. Follow up an enemy's life ability. So this will be a counterattack whenever somebody launches a life attack. A chance to gain 25% might and charisma whenever someone else uses an ancestor move. I normally don't put two ancestors in one team, so that probably won't come for me. But if we could get somebody from the other team to do one, they would go ahead and do this here. Okay, you know what? Let's go and try that one. Why not? If we're going to get another level, we're going to probably get another building, which will requ require more fanatics more than likely. So, and also offerings. So let's start working on offerings, actually. And that's cool. Let's step outside. And let's beat these guys up really quickly. We have Morala, who's getting close to another miracle charge at Morala. Don't you do this to me. Can I just click this to get you guys in here? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. It's probably better in Dragon. Um, Sackle and... Nay, at this point, Gray, starting our age. The stats compared to new people aren't really that good, so... It's bye-bye time in a sense. So we have to look for a life replacement once, um... They're gone for good. Michi is also pretty much up. There's some ignoring Michi at this point. Now it's basically the Sacco, Morala, Kuwain, Izel, and Kuali party. Let's add Kuali into this party. Let's start the sacrament. This will be an easy one. As a matter of fact, off camera, I've been doing some beating these guys up. I've been doing it like in the first round, like with the first fighter. Like we'll trigger like an initiate attack and then the follow up first attack will be enough. I mean, look at that right there. 22. That was before our first even attack and then there goes our real at first attack and it's over. So I'm liking this party. We could hit hard, so I'm not worried about the 8s and 9s that we're coming up against pretty soon. It's only the 163 one that worries me a bit. But again, we don't really have to tackle that until later. But it's something to keep our eyes open about. Alright, and they're getting closer to that Miracle Charge Up. So, there it is. The Initiates are here. I think it's time for us to depart with name more than likely. Therefore, let's go ahead. Maybe, maybe. For all we know, we could probably milk disciples from Nay if we keep around like we did with Mary. Mary had a couple of times when we could have gotten rid of her, but we did not, and she only brought in more disciples of her bloodline. Which get that little extra boost sometimes. As a matter of fact, there it is. So Tapa is from the bloodline of Nay. Could I think you might be the first non-Mary bloodline in our crew, so that makes me happy. Let's uncover you. You got purple here. That makes me happy because I've never seen that before. You are the Lilac King Totem. Your rank is destined. And you're probably... <laughs> you're probably the most feminine-looking character I've had in my party. I think you're a female. Can we say that confidently this time? I don't know, I normally say something that goes the opposite direction, or sometimes in between. 
We have so many hermaphrodites, but I think Tapa might be the first legit female. You're coming from the seas, you're gonna be uh, only a one one a good ranker. Honestly, this class is not as impressive as the last one that we got. But, that being said, we do have somebody here that is destined, which is amazing, so... Nay, you know, it's that time. It is that time. It's gonna be a lot of offerings, a lot of fanatics. I don't know what Mystica is still. It's not counting it, so I hope that whatever Mystica I'm getting, it's counting it in the background, so it gives it to me eventually whenever we unlock Mystica, but for now, I got no idea. Send out to the outer regions. Tapa, in you go. All right. Honestly, I don't like what's happening over here, but, um... You know what? I don't think we have to necessarily bring you guys in. We got a 25-er, 27. That's gonna be good enough for another class. So, I'm only bringing in one disciple from this class. Only one. We traded out Nay for Tapa. All right, and we should be cutting in right here for Tapa's very first fight. She might have nervous as normally, and the new recruits normally have nervous, but let's not worry about that. Once we get a class on her, that's when we really have to see where it goes. Look at that, a 7 as a rookie. I like it. Normally hit for like 2 or 4. Not too bad. Not too bad. And we got her. Oh, we got all three of them charged up. Perfect. So what this means, we got miracles to give off, and then we're going to attempt uh, one of the new islands up there. Continue with the one that we started, or jump to the other one to see what that unlocks for us. But for now, Tappa. Tappa, Tappa, Tappa. Uh, we do have a nature. This will be a druid. I've never had a druid before. That's also kind of new. We already have one of those. As a matter of fact, we got really too good of these. So I'm thinking we go with a druid. It is going to be nature, very much like the Lust Priest, but we've never had a druid before. All right, so for Tappa, one of the very important things is going to be knowledge. So off you go to the Miracle Revelation. I don't think we have done or focused on knowledge with anybody just yet. So we might get a new story here. So if that's the case. Let's go ahead and um, skip this forward. Check this out. So this is, um, <laughs> this is for the meditation thing. As Tappa was meditating on the Great One's will, a moment of ecstatic revelation struck. The grandness of the Great One's insight almost drove Tappa insane. So one of her fleshlings apparently died, but Tappa was able to predict it because of my knowledgeful insight. Rest Tappa, the knowledge of the Great One is too great for puny humans. Adds the miracle to the disciples performing. Adds miracle revelation. Adds maddening revelation. Yo, I like this one. Be driven in some of the Yeah, yeah. Insane, lust, blood, we got everything here. Out we go, and it is time for us. You guys are available already. Uh, we'll deal with that later. So if we come over here, we do get a hearty folklore. We get plus three HP and one to other stats. And you guys are what? Ancestors and a divine. Therefore, for you, we're looking for divine. And for you, we are looking for nature. I mean, we have Tappa. Oh, we got Sack. I'm not sure if I'm ready to send Tappa just yet. Because it's still fairly early on, but I'm definitely good about sending Sacco in there. And then for you, we're looking at Divine. So Izel for a fact. Do I feel confident with Morala? I want to give Morala the chance. I really, really do. I'm going to give Morala the chance. Koali is kind of like the one that I know if I send Koali in there, we're fine. But I gotta trust my other followers as well. We can't just lean on one person the entire time. Not attracted. That bothers me. Oh my goodness. God, 34 Izel! You absolute monster. Don't challenge heresy towards me. Good job, Izel, you monster. <gasps> you saw the heresy? Oh my god! Purge the heretic! That was a double attack for challenging heresy towards me, my friend. Sackle, come on. The Lust Priest um, attraction thing... It, it's very... It's very finicky in this game because the genders, as we have all seen thus far, are very, very hard to tell. Like, it seems the only ideal way to tell what they are is um, by the model alone. If they have a top female, no top none. But then there's like hermaphrodites, so where does that really fall into the equation? I did read in the forums, though, that that's another thing that they're working on. Defining more properly. Let's go and beat up rookies once again, because I still want to get Tappa some more levels. And... Tire, tire. Give him some time. Morala, in you go. And Kawain as well. Alright, Tappa's over here busting her druid abilities. 
That's that one, like, um, buff towards them that I saw all my enemies use in the past, and I've always been like, I hate that skill so much because it gives them, like, a little bit of a barrier, and now we have somebody that can cast it on ourselves, too, which is amazing. And it's happened to Michi as well. Michi has grown gray. They say you're only as old as you feel. Well, Michi definitely feels very old, having reached the ripe old age of 43. Michi will have a little more trouble performing certain tasks from now on. So, Michi... In a way, we kind of gave up on you a while back, so it's not like I'm not a heartbroken like a Mary or a Nay, but you've been a solid pillar, is what I could say. Um, and we're two away from this level. Sackle, you're still tired? Come on, dog, I've given you like two days off now without giving you any task. And we also have the Festival of Lust ready to go, so whenever we have another miracle charged up, we could go with that route if we want to as well. Alrighty, and that was enough to get us up to level 8. Spreading the cold. So we have now choose a new commandment for your religion. Ooh. We have the dedicate statue. More tentacles, maybe. And we have increased the worship of support up to 50 as well. Here we go. So check this out. We we have a co another commandment now. So we we start off with lust, but now we have a second thing to add. Might is right. Your followers will prove their faith in you through blood and victory. I mean, in a way, we've already kind of gone that route with the sacrifices that so we have. More blood for the Blood God, and now apparently we got more skulls for the Skull Throne coming up pretty soon, so... Let's make it... a thing. War? Oh, what is it good for? Well, apparently it's for lust. As your flock affirms the commandment of war they gain, this is the natural order. The mighty can impose their will. Might is right. I guess it spares the hassle of trying to live up to everyone's expectations. As the Great One is the most powerful of all gods, so must we be the most powerful of all humankind. The Great One demands that we spread virtue by means of our blessed weapons, said Michi, prophet of the Great One. I mean, technically speaking, you are the oldest one right now, so you are the prophet, but you're not really the MVP is all I'm saying, but still. And let's also go ahead and dedicate statue. Dedicate a statue to lust. Improves all miracles in the ritual, cunning, and charisma. Charisma and knowledge normally go pretty well in hand in hand, so I'm gonna probably put this over here at the Miracle Revelation. Let's put up the big ol' cup of lust. There it is, alright? So the Sunstone is right here. Apparently we just have to command the job, and I understand it gives you like two? It'll give us two abilities based on... well, just two base abilities based on the Sky Shard that we got. Command job. Izel. Do this. Let's see what that does before we go into that fight. Izel is seeing results from training. We have apparently two ability points gained. Ooh, and we're at the Age of Dawning. Hey. All right. This is, I guess that happens at year 30. So Izel, um, two ability points. There we go. Here we go. Spend ability points down here. Drag a new or existing ability to a slot in Izel's mind to inspire. You can only place an ability in a slot with an ability of equal or higher level in it already. So a level 2 can only go on top of an already placed level 1. If Sky Shard's gonna be useful that way, I think we probably beat you up. You're gonna be that divine heavy party. Therefore, Ancestral might not be the best thing, so Kuwain will probably stay out of this one. But because you guys are all, um, divine, nature will be very useful. Tappa still could use one extra miracle, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think this might be too early for Tappa. But I'm gonna give it a shot. This is kind of a challenge for Tappa, because, you know, she's still relatively young. Only one miracle applied thus far. This is definitely a bit of a stronger fight. She might not do so much damage, but she is gonna put up nature's defiance at the very least, which will give us a little bit of extra morale defenses. Starting off with Spell, very good. Effective, obviously, though. Very perfect. That Izel bothers me quite a bit, because we could have gone under that 50 right now in one go. Cleanse, better. Okay, that's good. Good defenses. 10, I'm not crazy about it, but I'll take it. Ineffective, very, very good. All right, boys. Let's... we have Marble of Growth. Oh, good God, Tappa! Sorry, never mind! Oh, I'm a little bit worried about Tappa. Landing those 37s, that's still not enough for the knockout, come on, boys! Getting a bunch of blocks over here. Religion HP, ooh, they have an... Oh, there's a skill that recovers your HP, your religion one. Intriguing. Yo, Tappa, Tappa has shown me something here today. Tappa's showing me that she's the future, I mean, she was destined after all. 
Oh, 37. Oh, boy. Get a couple of those for the tough fights coming up. We'll be good. Miracle charge and everything. All right. And we got ourselves an extra sky charge to kind of boost up those abilities as well. And we have crossed over to a new land. Let's go really quickly. Get on out of here. I want to see what that opened up. Oh, all right. 11, 9, and 11. So you know what? 80 and 130. 80, 163. Seems like this would probably be the easier path than this one here for now. So we could probably feast over here for a while. Even at a 1080, it's not too bad. We could feast over here for a while and then jump to this land as well. Whereas over here, if we're going to jump to this land, we have to go through that really tough one. So I'm thinking the, the ideal route for us should be down to here first and then we eventually come over here once we feel confident for that 163. All right, very good. So we're going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave any tips and suggestions on leaving to the comments. I will read them and um, implement them as needed. I will catch you next time.